Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Alma, welcome to the kitchen. It is Saturday morning. Just got finished from our walk this morning. It is 1025. We did 15,239 steps on the trail. And now it's time for breakfast. Typically on Saturdays, guys, we don't do OMADs. We're having um, liver and eggs this morning. In fact, this breakfast would actually be something really good if you're on the carnivore diet, which I am actually considering doing. I'm considering to do in seven days and then renewing every seven days, making a decision as to whether it's working for me and if I miss my pure ketogenic lifestyle or if I want to stay with a carnivore slash keto lifestyle for at least a month. So here's the liver, guys. The first thing you want to do is clean off your liver, rinse it out, and then take your liver and just remove any tendons that are on it. This was actually some really clean liver. This is the parts that you cut off, guys. Any little white straggler pieces, just cut it off. It's not mandatory. You can just rinse it, stick it in your skillet, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and put this on the stove, and we'll get started. All right, guys, so we are cooking our liver in about a tablespoon of bacon drippings. You don't need to use this. It actually cooks really well with olive oil, if you prefer that. We're gonna go ahead and Set this over to the side, just about done. And we'll place our eggs on this side of our grill. It's a one skillet meal, guys. And here we are, guys. Here's the breakfast. Let it cook up. Don't those livers look good? Guys, here's our eggs salted and peppered to taste. So based on my very limited knowledge right now, I do believe that this would actually be a wonderful meal for your carnivore diet. In fact, uh, it's got your fat, it's got your protein, and it's got so many nutrients, guys. As I'm researching this carnivore diet, I am understanding that organ meat is actually one of the best meats that you can choose to eat on carnivore. <laughs> David just got home, said something smells good. All right, guys, I just flipped the eggs over, yum. And I am gonna take it off the heat immediately. I'd like to have my yolks really runny. Yeah, at this point, guys, you could go ahead and saute some onions up if you have the room within your macros to do that. Keep in mind, onions, tomatoes, peppers, all those things typically have higher carb count. However, if you have the room and the macros, go for it. Um, we're just kind of doing a precursor to a starting carnivore. Um, and it's gonna be the keto carnivore. So I am researching it. I will have a playlist um, when I start this adventure with videos that you as well can watch. So be watching for my keto carnivore playlist and we'll go from there. And uh, wish us luck. So just kind of experimenting with some meals and giving you guys some ideas for your keto lifestyle as well as if you're doing something carnivore, zero carb, reduced carb, if you're doing 10, 15 total carbs, etc. And here we go guys, breakfast is served, check it out. Oh, look at those runny eggs. Dip your lovely liver inside that yummy yolk and it is delicious guys. All right, great option for you carnivores out there. Have a blessed day guys, bye-bye. Okay guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about the video that I just made and what is in this lovely bag. I showed you guys that, you know, my little trick to keeping, hi baby, to keeping um, my avocados in great shape is just putting them in the fridge in a plastic bag just as is and they stay as fresh as can be. So let me explain why this is important. All right, so the breakfast that we just had, I listed it as two servings in my recipe and and it comes up as 264 calories, two grams of carbs, 20.9 grams of fat, and 21.5 grams of protein. So obviously there is an issue where you're not having it balanced out enough with fat. So guys, the simple addition of one avocado takes that to 381 calories, three net carbs. Your fat goes all the way to 31.4% fat and 23 grams of protein. And as I learn more about the carnivore diet, guys, I'll fill in the blanks. Meanwhile, there you go. So that was a delicious breakfast, everybody. The meat takes about, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes to cook, depending on your level of heat, depending on how much you're cooking. And have a blessed day.
Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. I <laughs> do